Hey everybody, Captain CA here for Flats Fast YouTube, and today we're going to talk a lot about beach tarpon fishing. In fact, we're going to talk about the leader setup for beach tarpon fishing. And uh, I like to use a very simple setup, a lot different than the one that I use for artificial. If you watched that YouTube video probably about three weeks ago, this one is way more simplistic. Works great if you're a throwing crabs, throwing thread fins, throwing pinfish, or even if you just want to throw a big jerk shad or some type of big darter Z from Z-Man uh, in, the, in the low light hours, this will work fantastic. Super easy to tie up. I'm gonna go out to the boat and grab a setup. While I'm doing that, you're gonna watch fish like this being caught. Uh, by my friends, Mark and Nancy Hunhausen. Regulars here on Flats Class YouTube, but I think you're going to like this, this tarpon catch. And when we come back, we're gonna talk leaders. Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Yeah. Tell you right now, I'm gonna have to go down about a turn. Yeah, half turn. Half, half turn.
down a little bit for you. good one. I'll let you take the hook out. I got a pair of pliers. In my head. Then we're going to bring them back to life. You got it. Okay. All right. Slowly put the boat in gear and we'll get this one going. Yeah, barely put that boat in gear. Just bump it. A couple of kicks. Might be able to get a pick of Mark and I from back to, back there in the corner, maybe. Yeah. Bring this guy back to play. Go. You warm down quick, dude. Magnesium. Magnesium. There it goes. I absolutely love having that type of footage um, to kind of complement these tips that I like to put together because I think it makes the whole thing come into focus and be a lot sharper and clearer for you. All right, the rod that I had Mark on that tarpon with is the Shimano Terramar Double X. You guys know that this has been a, a favorite um, setup of mine for a while now. Uh, he was also using the, this is the Shimano Saragossa. This is the 8000 series. Uh, very reliable reel, especially for beach tarpon fishing. So when you've got a Terramar Double X and the extra heavy action, uh, this is an eight foot rod, and then you pair it up with an 8,000, and some of you might pair it up with a 10,000. Uh, I like to have a couple of these setups on my skiff, uh, and the reason for is some of them have 40 pound Power Pro, some of them have 30 pound Power Pro. You might say, well, why 30 pound Power Pro? Well, that 30 pound Power Pro um, Super Slick will allow me to make a super long cast. So when the fish are a little tougher on those really bright days, crystal clear water, it's nice to have the 30 to be able to make that longer presentation. Um, the 40 I use if the water's a little bit dirtier, uh, fish seem to run a little bit bigger, that's what I'm doing. Now, I've taken the liberty of putting a Bimini twist in the end of this. Okay, a bimini twist is how you double the line. You can see how I've got my twist there. If you want to see this, just go to any of Mark Sosin's um, YouTube channel and, and check out his knot videos or Gene Fishing TV. You'll see a lot of it. Uh, the leader I use is 50 pound. Now I will use 40 and you've seen me use 40 especially with artificials, but I like to use 50 pound leader and I use, I like to take about that much leader. That's going to give me ample to tie my knots and to snell my hook. So I'm taking about that much. For you, for you that don't know how that much is, it's about six feet. So I clip that and I tie kind of a no-name knot to this. So I pinch the loop and I tie it like I'm tying an Albright. I'm gonna go around this because this is 50, only about eight or nine times, that's it. So I'm going up that double line eight or nine times. 
and then I'm going to come through this loop that I created and wet it with a little bit of saliva whoop, and pull it tight. It's going to look a lot like that when it's done, which is a nice clean, clean knot. You can see that very clean knot. And I like to leave a little tag in, even though my buddy Flip Palette tells me leaving long tags shows a lack of confidence. I'm still going to leave the long tag. And then I like to snell my hooks. So I'm going to come in. I snell them a little bit different than most folks. So I'm going to come in, pull me out a good six inches past, loop it around, and I'm going to go through usually about seven times. I use my teeth as my third hand a lot. You know, it's just the way I am. <laughs> I'm not as good at finger gymnastics as most, but you'll get the idea and it helps a lot. I'm gonna do one more here, should be close to seven. You might say, why seven, CA? It's my lucky number. <laughs> All right, so then you get something that looks like that good connection and then I tighten this up naturally uh, with a pair of pliers but I, I like to leave a tag on that as well you can see the tag there so that's the that's the setup that's really the system that I use I've got in review I've got the bimini the bimini is about eight inches long and then I've got the no-name knot or kind of a modified Albright if you will I've got it, now I've got maybe a little under six feet, but pretty close to six feet, a 50 pound liter. And then I snell it. And this is a trocar hook. This is an actual six aught trocar hook. That setup for catching tarpon works for you almost every time. I used to use 60 pound liter. I used to use 80 pound liter, but this simple lighter liter gets me a lot more bites. I lose a few but it gets me a lot more bites. Well, I sure hope that this tip helps put a tarpon alongside your skiff, bay boat, kayak, whatever, uh, this summer. Um, like I said, we've had a string of these tarpon tips and, and this one will likely be the last one uh, for this summer because next up for me is doing a bunch of product reviews for all of you from the iCast show. So you're gonna see that coming up in about two weeks. And then I make my summer pilgrimage, late summer pilgrimage, back out to Cajun Fishing Adventures in Pierce, Louisiana. So you're gonna see a lot of videos naturally on bull redfish, sight fishing redfish in the ponds and the bayous, uh, bass fishing, jacks, sharks, big black drum. We're going to have a lot of that uh, stuff coming to you soon. You'll see a lot of that on the back half of our summer stuff here at Flats Class YouTube. Plus, probably by the third or fourth week of July, you're going to start seeing a lot of the television shows from season 16 drop right here on Flats Class YouTube. For those of you that haven't been watching it on waypointtv.com, you're going to see it on Flats Class YouTube soon. All right, if you like what you see here and hear here and you're learning stuff, reach over there and hit that subscribe button. I want you guys to be fans of Flat Scots YouTube. It's my job to make you a better angler. All right, I'm going to get busy doing another one of these for next week. See ya.